How you guys doing today? This is JR Production X. I'm showing you guys how to unlock and jailbreak your iPhone 2G and jailbreak your iPhone 3G. First, you want to open up Red Zone, click on Browse, then you want to go to your phone where and just click on that. Uh, it might take a little bit for it to process. And just click on Next. And it's just going to load up. And everything is going to be in the description box down below, so let's check that out. Alright, now you just want to click Install Studio and Unlock. You can also customize basically everything else if you want, but I just want to unlock mine. Now, uh, this is for the bootloader. Click on Browse, then click on 3.9 and 4.6 to match it. And just click on next. You're gonna want to follow the, the directions it says on the screen, so just listen to that. Alright, now once this pops up, you could release everything and let your iPhone take over. Alright, then next you're just going to want to follow the... Alright, this is what it looks like when it's done, and I'm just going to show you guys how it looked like on my iPhone, and that's it. Alright, this is what it should look like. So hold down the home button while it's loading. I right, should be fine to let go now. And we're all done. Let's click finish. Now everything else is on your iPhone right now. Let's move this off the side. Alright, it's almost done now. You can tell I'm still working on my iPhone. I took it all apart and it's almost all the way back together. I ordered a new case, that's why I haven't put this one on fully yet. So I gotta find the button, home button. Alright, now it's booting again. Do you see this? Oh, it's for the unlock. Don't have to press anything here, just let it work by itself. Alright, now it says flashing baseband. The bootloader was successful, flashed. Now finishing, er, excuse me, now flashing baseband. This normally takes up to two minutes. If it takes longer, please be very patient. So I'm just going to fast forward right here. Alright, there we go. Alright, this is the final and last review. Now 
And after this loads, you should be able to just place your SIMS card in here, and put it in the fr top of it, plug it in, and you should be ready to go. And there's Cydia right there.